Dearest Texas History Scholars, I hope that you're having a wonderful day today. I'm going to make a foldable, and in this foldable, we're going to compare and contrast Texas history presidents. There were three presidents, but four presidential terms. So the first thing that I'm going to do is fold this in half. And then I'm going to fold it in half again. And then in half one more time. I'm going to do the same thing the other way. Okay, and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to cut, um, I guess it doesn't matter what side, I'm going to cut to the halfway point. Okay, so here's your foldable, here's what it looks like before we write on it. At the top of my foldable, I'm going to write my name. And I'm also going to write the name of this assignment, which is Republic of Texas Presidents. And I'm also going to draw a the country's flag, which is the same as the state flag. So keep in mind that these are not U.S. presidents. They're just Republic of Texas presidents. There are three of them. And so I'm going to use colors. I read somewhere that it helps you remember if you're writing things in a different color. So the first president of Texas... was Sam Houston. The second president was a guy named Maribel Lamar. The third president was Sam Houston again. So they were not allowed to have consecutive presidential terms, which means back to back. And so Sam Houston was president, then Mary Boo Lamar, and then Sam Houston again. After Sam Houston's second presidency, then the fourth term was... Anson Jones. Okay, then I'm gonna open this up and I'm pretty much gonna write on all of this. So, yep, there we go. Okay, on this row, I'm going to write the year that they were president. On this row, I'm going to write their economic policies. Over here, I'm going to write about how they viewed American Indians. And then on the last one, I'm going to write whether they were for or against annexation. 
Annexation is the joining of two countries. So it's kind of like a marriage except for land and territories. So uh, it was the wedding between Texas and the United States. Okay, uh, please keep in mind that this first one, we made the first one about Sam Houston. I guess if you wanted to, you could color in all of the lines, like horizontal and vertical, if you wanted to. And remember that Sam Houston was the first and third president of Texas. Uh, Sam Houston was president from 1836 to 1838. That was his first term. And then he was president again from 1841 to 1844. Sam Houston's economic policy was to cut spending It's pretty expensive to run a country, and especially a country that just went through a war. Sam Houston felt really bad that he couldn't f pay the fighters of the Texas Revolution. So he's trying to cut as much spending as possible, trying to get out of debt because Texas had borrowed money from the United States. So he's very conscious about money. And uh, so he's trying to save as much money as possible. Um, Sam Houston, uh, when it comes to American Indians, Sam Houston had, uh, he felt like there could be peace with Native Americans through treaties. He was very understanding of Native Americans. He had um, spent time with a tribe and he was like considered one of them for a short time. And so he was super understanding about Native Americans and protecting their way of life. Um, his policy on annexation is that he was absolutely for annexation, more so in his second term but he thinks that joining the United States would solve a lot of problems for Texas. The next president was Maribu Lamar. It might have been smart if I made this first and then cut it afterward when I was done. I don't know. You learn as you go. Uh, Maribu Lamar and he was the oh I just wrote two I'm sorry he was the second president of Texas he was president from 1838 to 1841 he had a lot to say about economic policies, and mostly he was not very budget conscious. He spent a lot of money. And the things that he spent money on were education, fighting Native Americans, fighting... Um, Mexican soldiers at the border. He wanted to uh, make the Navy really strong. And he also wanted to expand Texas all the way to the Pacific Ocean. He started that expansion in, in the city of Santa Fe in New Mexico, and it did not go well at all. In fact, everyone that he sent was imprisoned, and then it just made 
uh, Mexico even more angry with Texas. So that created more conflict, which led to more fighting. Lamar wanted all Native Americans removed from Texas. He wanted them to go to reservations in Oklahoma. And specifically, he orders the Cherokee people to leave Texas and their chief, Chief Bowles, um, agreed to go, but as soon as the crops were ready, Maribu Lamar was not patient with them and he sent troops in to forcibly remove the people. And in this process, Chief Bowles was killed. Um, Lamar had a really big time vision of Texas being as powerful as the United States. And so he did not want to join forces, except maybe be allies, but definitely not like merge countries with the United States because he wanted Texas to be strong on his own. So he goes against annexation. The next president was Sam Houston and that was Sam Houston's second presidency, but the third presidential term for the country. The last and final president was Anson Jones. Ooh, that's not straight. I'm sorry. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, maybe I could have used a ruler. Uh, this is Anson Jones. Anson Jones is the fourth and last president of Texas. He was president from 1844 to 1845. He definitely would have served longer except that Texas joined the United States, which ended his presidency. Um, his policy on, his economic policy was the same as Sam Houston's. He was trying to cut spending and he was trying to save money. He also wanted peace with Native Americans but by the time he was president, there were fewer Native Americans because Maribu Lamar had already pushed some of the tribes into Oklahoma. Um, so, but mostly Anson Jones wanted peace with Native Americans. Of course, he was for annexation because he was the president that oversaw annexation. Um, something that helps is to make sure that your paper has symbols um, that helps you remember the information. So we drew a dollar sign and a peace sign and a dollar sign and a peace sign and a dollar sign right there. Um, I'm also going to draw a sign for education. Just go with it. Just pretend that that's an apple. Okay. And then um, he was against annexation. So there's our symbols for Maribu Lamar. We have successfully, um, con what is it called? Compared and contrasted. Our Texas presidents have a wonderful day.